What makes the perfect pint? I've been searching for it all my life. I've even had one or two goes at making it myself. But could the answer lie with a one-show viewer? We asked you to send us your recipes for Britain's best pint of home brew. And it's fair to say, a lot of you know your beer. So who made it through to the final three? Teacher Anne from Oxted in Surrey with her hoppy mad spicy summer ale. I started brewing when I was at university. It's a great hobby and I love it. Software developer Ewan from Pitlochry in Scotland with his wedding day's pale ale. I like my beer and I guess other people in the area like my beer too because even the local pub has asked to sell it. And retired IT manager Malk from Derby with his dandelion and burdock summer mild ale. When I retired a year ago, I decided to throw myself into all grain brewing, so I joined a brewing club and I've never looked back. They've all come to the Brigstock Beer Festival in Nottinghamshire, where the One Show Brew Off is being held. All our finalists have got to impress me and fellow judge, beer sommelier and writer, Jane Payton. So, Jane, beer comes in a myriad of flavours and everyone's got their own idea of what they prefer for their own tipple. So, what are we looking for today? Well, number one is drinkability. Mm. Do I want another glass? Also a bit of imagination and something out of the ordinary, something that you can't get in the pub. But really importantly, balance to the beer. Because you want to have the ingredients balanced. You don't want one being too dominant. So, well, let's get drinking. Uh, tasting. First up is Anne, who's based her brew on her favourite food. I love the flavours of Thai food, so I decided that it would be a really good idea to try incorporating them into a beer. I add some homegrown chillies, the zest and juice of some lime, and some grated fresh ginger, and it makes it really different. Time for Anne to serve up a bottle of her best. Shall we? What I like about that is the ginger really comes through on it, but it's not too overwhelming. Mm -hmm. It's a spicy beer, and I would be very happy drinking that with a curry. For me, I'd probably like a little bit more chilli, you know. I want to, I want to feel some pain. <laughs> I want it to hurt me a bit more. <laughs> Next up is Ewan with his wedding day's pale ale. My nephew got married this year, and he wanted a special beer created. So we used family-sourced ingredients, which include locally grown hops that I grew in a garden last year in Scotland including honey from my brother-in-law's community bee garden in Hitchin. Ooh. Nice. You get that real bready kind of smell coming off it, don't you? Mm. Here we go. Oh, wow, that's got a hop kick, hasn't it, to it? You can really get that sweetness from the honey. That is an absolute little bobby dazzler. Time for last orders. Final competitor Malk is giving a traditional drink an alcohol-infused spin. I've created a basic mild recipe, but left out the chocolate malt in case it clashes with some of the other flavours. And I add dandelion root, burdock root, licorice root, cool it, drain it and ferment. Ooh, yeah. Snap, crackle and pop. Absolutely. You really get the licorice when you pop that in your mouth. Oh, you do. You really do. That's sherbet dib-dabs all along. Yeah. <laughs> Stylistically, fits in with what a mild is, and then he's yeah. pimped it a bit by putting some, some roots into it. It's closing time at our bar. Three fabulous beers, but which is Britain's best? It's time for the verdict. The winner of the One Show Brew-Off is... Ewan. We both agreed Ewan's locally produced wedding-inspired beer could have been brewed professionally and certainly had us coming back for more.